Welcome to the CA Virtual Network Assurance version 2.0 integration feature video. How to integrate CA VNA 2.0 with Cisco's Application Centric Infrastructure or ACI technology. My integration, browse to the management page on your VNA host server using the VNA port value of 8080. The VNA management page is organized using a handful of common HTTP method calls used in RESTful services, get, post, put, and delete. You can see this by clicking on the admin and on the inventory links to expand them. These methods will be used to configure VNA. The VNA architecture uses technology-specific plugins in order to gather SDN data from the infrastructure. Each plugin instance connects and communicates with its assigned SDN orchestrator or controller and requires its own domain group. These domain groups are then used by consumers of the VNA data, such as CA Performance Management, to organize inventory into meaningful groups for reporting. One of the key foundational steps to successfully monitor your ACI infrastructure is to create and configure an ACI plugin instance in VNA. Let's see how to do that. First, create a user-defined domain group to contain your ACI devices and components. To create a user-defined domain group, under Inventory, select the link Create a User-Defined Domain Group. Supply a domain name here, ACI underscore domain domain domain. Then select the Try It Out button. After scrolling down, ensure the response code is 201, indicating a successful creation. Now examine the response body and make note of the value of the ID property, which here is 2. This number uniquely identifies your newly defined domain group and will be needed for the creation of the corresponding ACI plugin instance. Collapse the method by reselecting the link. This will keep the VNA management page easier to read. Next, to get a list of available plugins, under Admin, Select the link, provides a list of installed plugins and their current status, then select the Try It Out button. Scroll down, ensure a 200 response code indicating success, then examine the response body and look for the plugin name property value which indicates the desired SDN technology. Here it's ACI plugin. Note this string and collapse the method. VNA has provided a full set of configuration templates, each of which match an SDN technology. A template consists of a set of variable settings which are specific to its SDN technology. By copying a template and tweaking its variable values, one can quickly and accurately configure a plugin with the necessary connection and polling parameters. To obtain the template for ACI, under Admin, select the link Generates a template that can be used to configure the named plugin. Enter the name noted in a previous step, ACI Plugin, into the Plugin Name field. Note that strings are case sensitive in VNA. Then select the Try It Out button. Ensure a 200 response code. Then examine the template in the response body. Templates contain variables and their values. These variables are generally divided into two sections or categories. 
The variables in the first section specify how to connect to the SDN orchestrator or controller, host, login credentials, etc. And the variables in the second section specify data acquisition parameters, such as poll rates. ACI is no exception. Here we can see that the first three variables specify the ACI controller host, also known as the Cisco Application Policy Infrastructure Controller, or APIC, and the username and password for APIC login credentials. The remainder of the variables specify VNA poll rates and the identity of the domain group associated with the ACI plugin instance. To get further information for each of these variables, the VNA documentation contains a variable by variable listing for each of its supported SDN technologies. Simply navigate to the VNA homepage on the DocOps platform, as shown here, then select the appropriate technology under the building header. We'll select Cisco ACI. Scrolling down the page lists each of the variables in the ACI template along with a description of each. Use these descriptions as a guide for filling out the variable values in the next step of our plugin instance creation process. Returning to our ACI template, Copy the entirety of the response body, which will be used with our upcoming ACI plugin configuration. Then collapse the method. Next, to create a new ACI plugin instance, under Admin, select the link Configures a new instance of a plugin. Note that this link uses the POST method for plugin creation in contrast to the PUT method which edits an existing plugin. In the plugin name field, again enter ACI space plugin case sensitive and enter a meaningful description of this plugin instance in the config desk field. We'll use ACI underscore plugin one. Note that here and during the domain group creation, we appended a numerical qualifier. This is because VNA can manage multiple SDN installations of the same technology, each of which requires its own dedicated plugin and corresponding domain. A numerical qualifier is therefore one way to differentiate between plugins. Other differentiators could be used, such as geographical location or a department or a subsidiary name. Now paste the just copied ACI template body into the engine config XML field. This forms the basis of our plugin configuration and variables such as the SDN orchestrator or controller host here, APIC host IP, for ACI will now be entered. For this example, we will enter the IP address of our APIC host then for the domain ID variable assign the value of 2 which was the unique identifier seen in a previous step for the ACI domain one domain group. This binds the ACI plugin one instance to the ACI domain one domain group. The default values will suffice for the remainder of the variables. Select the try it out button. Ensure a 200 response code then collapse the method. At this point, 
the new plugin instance should be operational and collecting ACI inventory and performance data from the SDN infrastructure. To validate this, we can use several methods to ensure that the engine associated with our newly created instance is running. To obtain the engine's unique identifier, under Admin, select the Displays a list of open collector configurations for this plugin link. In the plugin name field, enter ACI plugin. Select the Try It Out button. Then ensure a 200 response code. Examine the response body and locate the config desk variable whose value matches the description for the specified plugin instance, here, ACI plugin 1. Copy the config ID value, not including the quotes, on the immediately preceding line. This value represents the engine ID for your plugin instance. Collapse the method. Finally, to obtain the status for the engine, under Admin, select the link Provide Current Status of an Engine. Paste the engine identifier into the Engine ID field. Select the Try It Out button, then ensure a 200 response code. Validate that the response body consists of the string running. This is confirmation that the plugin instance engine is operating as expected. Now that VNA is successfully configured to gather data from your ACI infrastructure, you can integrate it with existing infrastructure management solutions such as CA Performance Management and CA Spectrum to monitor SDN and NFV deployments. See separate videos on how to integrate VNA with Performance Management and Spectrum. Both of these clients contain out-of-the-box support for visualizing and monitoring your ACI infrastructure. This built-in ACI support allows you to quickly ascertain the health of your ACI environment and to understand the internal organization of your ACI components. For example, Spectrum contains an SDN manager node in its navigation pane through which you can access ACI-specific views, such as fabric technology, shown here in the contents pane, contract structure, and endpoint group connectivity. Performance management, in addition to offering a large selection of technology-independent SDN and NFV dashboards, also offers ACI-specific dashboards. The ACI Health Dashboard, shown here, provides a single pane view on the overall health of your ACI deployment, while the ACI Console Dashboard provides a cohesive view into the layout of your ACI infrastructure and relationships between ACI components. From here, you can click on the links to be directed to the documentation, communities, or to the CA learning paths.